You've likely heard the terms railroad and railway thrown around, but haven't given it much thought. But it makes you wonder, why is it called a railroad over here in the United States, but just across the border in Canada, or over in South America, and across the pond in Europe, Africa, Asia, and Oceania, it's called a railway? Or why did America's electric inner urbans run on railways, while everything else ran on railroads? The exact answer is a bit foggy, but let's go back and break down the terms into their simplest form. The origin of the modern industrial railway can be traced back to the early 1500s in England with the term tramway. Tram was derived from this low German word translating to beam. This made sense considering the earliest wooden mine carts resembled that of a wheelbarrow. The wooden tracks on which these carts ran on were sometimes referred to as gangways, a term dating back to the 1200s meaning going road. Now this is where it gets a bit hazy. Sometime between the 1770s and 1790s, the term railway would begin to spread across England. In 1789, William Jessop had introduced an all-iron edge rail which would replace the old wooden rails previously used at English collieries. It would also be around this time that tramways and wagonways would become known as lines of rails and later railways and railroads. Rail was derived from this old French word meaning iron bar, and way stood for a path or permanent way of direction for the carts to travel. In railroad, the term would stand for a fixed path or road upon which the carts would travel on as well. One of the first instances of a railway was the coal-driven Middleton Railway in Leeds, England. Railway and railroad would soon become compound words and be used interchangeably up until the 1830s when the term railway prevailed in British English. Overseas in the United States, however, the term railroad became more widely utilized. One early recorded case using the word was in 1815. Colonel John Stevens III was quoted as saying he wanted to erect a railroad from the River Delaware near Trenton to the River Raritan at or near New Brunswick. Though in 1826, the Granite Railway in Pennsylvania was chartered using the English term. In 1827, companies like the Mohawk and Hudson, Summit Hill and Mock Chunk, and the Baltimore and Ohio all used the term railroad in their name. This trend would be seen throughout the majority of rail charters in the coming years. Throughout the 1890s and early 1900s, inter-urban lines became a common scene across rural and urban America. Coined at the time as light rail in Europe and Asia, these electric train lines would be more often than not referred to as inter-urban railways in America. This was likely a way to differentiate between heavy hauling conventional railroads using steam locomotives with that of lighter trafficked inter-urban railways. Exceptions to this general rule of thumb were prevalent though, the Northern Pacific Railway and Chicago, North Shore, and Milwaukee Railroad, for example. The question remains though, why? One idea might be how the company name rolls off the tongue. Would you rather have a BNSF Railway or a BNSF Railroad? British Railways or British Railroads? Or perhaps it's based on regional dialects and people's preferred way of speaking. Another idea is for reorganization purposes. If the old company was a railroad, the reorganized one would become a railway or vice versa as a way to differentiate between the two. For example, the Seaboard Airline Railway reorganized into the Seaboard Airline Railroad in 1946. The next question would be, why is railroad so common in a place like the United States, but right next door in Canada, it's a predominantly railway country? This is likely due in part to early British influence throughout the development of the country. You'll see this in other Commonwealth countries like Australia, India, Hong Kong, and South Africa. They all commonly use the term railway. In non-commonwealth countries that use the term railway, like China and Japan, it was the British who primarily introduced, demonstrated, and helped in construction of railways in Asia. The answer doesn't end there, however. It's a bit more technical than that. If you recall the predecessors of the railways, gangways, tramways, wagonways, and the like, they're all compound words like railway. By definition, a railway is a railroad operating with light equipment or within a small area. A railway describes the method of construction using rails to create a fixed path or way to travel. It's the same concept as a tram or wagonway, but instead of the wooden rails, there were iron and then steel rails laid out on ties or sleepers. But what does that mean for railroad? Railroad means essentially the same thing as railway, although it's technically used to describe the specific routes or lines on which trains travel upon. It works like this. Metro North has these routes, or railroads, and the trains on those railroads run on a railway made up of steel rails on ties. 
In short, the railway is the physical infrastructure, and the railroad is the specific route or named lines on which trains travel upon. It's hard to say if there's a fine line difference or reasoning why there is a railway in railroad, so we might not ever know for certain. Whether it's for organization, differentiation, or because of regional, regional dialects, it's a bit of a guessing game. In the end though, whether you live in the United States or Japan, call it a railroad or railway, they pretty much mean the same exact thing. I conducted this generalized survey, and while the results may be a bit skewed based on my geographic audience, we can still see where both terms are most widely used. That's all for this video. Comment down below if you usually say railroad or railway, and if you want to as well, list what country you're from to see where each term is used most frequently. Thank you for watching.